cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make a meatball, but some, something is very special about this particular meatball. Um, I, I ate it when I was very young in one uh, wonton noodles shop in Johor Bahru. It is very, very fragrant and it is very, very crispy. And I can never get the, that particular texture right until recently when I talked to one of my chef friends, uh, Hok Chai. Uh, he suggested me to actually mix the uh, pork with fish paste. So that's exactly what I'm going to do and hopefully it can turn out to be the kind of texture I really wanted. So what I have here is approximately 150 grams of uh, minced pork with about approximately 50 grams or 60 grams of fish paste. So the ratio is somewhere between uh, 70 to 30. Yeah, agak agak lah. Huh? Uh, and if you can choose to have a little bit of uh, pork fat inside, that is even better. Then uh, we will put in some, I have some uh, minced garlic, minced fresh coriander roots, minced shallot, minced uh, hikama, also called sengkuang. This is a minced uh, carrot and this is a bit of minced ginger. Approximately, I got, I got about one tablespoon each. Lah. And we will need an uh, so what we do here, we have the pork, minced pork, and we have the fish paste, and put in all the other minced uh, herbs or veggie. Next thing we are going to put in some seasoning. I'm going to start some oyster sauce. Not too much of oyster sauce. If it's too much, you can turn uh, dark very easily. Uh, about half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put in a bit of sugar. A few dishes of fish sauce. Or you can put light soy sauce. But if you put light soy sauce, don't put too much. You can make your uh, mince pork very dark also later. Some saucing wine, a few dashes of white pepper. I'm going to put in some 13 spice powder. You can use 5 spice powder, this is optional. And we are going to put in one egg. This is going to act as a medium to join everything together easier. Next thing, we're going to mix everything up. I'm going to add in a bit of seasoning oil. This is garlic oil here. You can use sesame oil as well. After which, put in some few teaspoons of corn starch. This will also help to stick everything together and continue stirring. And you really want to mix everything up and stir until you can really feel the traction. Especially when you are using a pork from the wet market, usually it's a little bit more watery. Then you actually have to do this even a longer time. Yeah, keep on doing this stirring until you really feel the traction. It may take a couple of minutes for you to do this, and you will you will feel harder and harder to turn. Yeah, so that is where you really feel the gelat created the gelatinous of your uh, they call gelatinous or gelatinous <laughs> anyway. Um, that's where you get the right texture for your meatball. <sighs> See, it's extremely sticky. Right, once this is done, you want to cover this with a clingy paper and put it inside the fridge to marinate for at least two hours. So this is after two hours, taken out from uh, the fridge and leave it, uh, go back to uh, room temperature for a while, then what you can do is use a spoon, take one spoonful, uh, you want to wet your hand first, yeah? If not, it can be very sticky. Roll it into a small ping pong bowl and set it aside. Not difficult, yeah? All right, then you will get some uh, meatball like this. Uh, we will go and uh, actually the whole thing is a lot more you can uh, do a lot more here.
<laughs> Just for the demo, I will put this. Actually, this is good enough. Uh, this is quite big, almost the size of a ping pong ball here. I just decided the remaining of this, I'm going to make it into niang tofu, stuffed tofu tomorrow night. Mm, another dinner. So I'll be using a medium heated oil to uh, deep fry the meatball. Right, you can see some bubble coming up and there isn't any uh, smoke coming up. The moment you see some smoke coming up, that is too hot. You need to add more oil to cool it down a little bit, right? reduce the heat. Now we can slowly... Put in the meatball. See, my meatball today is a little bit huge. Today, I prefer a bigger ping pong. I'm using two spoons right now. It's very sticky. Much stickier even compared to uh, when I was using only the pork itself. So, after adding in the fish paste, it becomes stickier, which is nice. First time I'm adding fish paste into the meatball. Let's slowly uh, fry this for a couple of minutes. See all the bubbles coming up, releasing from the meatball itself? That is uh, the water coming up from the meatball. Also telling you that uh, later, when the bubble becomes lesser and lesser, that is a sign telling you it's almost done. But I will say agar agar plus minus about 5 minutes, it should be, it should be done. One of the earlier one that I put in. Flip it over. Let me reduce the heat a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark. Definitely don't want it to chow ta. Eh? <laughs> Actually, the version that I ate, the one is very dark color, but that is when it is fully cooked. So I have to control the color also. This is after about two minutes plus. Mm, beautiful golden color. You can notice very easily right now the See the water the bubbles is getting lesser and lesser. Even this is only about two minutes plus. It's getting cold inside. I'm actually using medium heated oil right now. Not too hot. Slowly cook it through. Mm. Nice. And it's super fragrant right now. This is after about five minutes. Should be done. You can see, you can feel it is get it's getting less uh, lighter and lighter when you push the meatball. That is the first sign. Second sign, you can see the bubble is getting also lesser and lesser. Now you can choose to do double fry if you like. Up to you. That you can by doing so you can create an even uh, more um, crispy outer layer. So this is after somewhere around 5-6 minutes. I'm going to take it out and put it on top of an oil absorbing paper. Ooh, look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. Wow, this is probably one of the nicest meatball I ever had. I ever made. See this? Oh, super fragrant. Alright, so here's my uh, very crispy meatball today. If you like my video, do share my video on Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. And the fish, uh, the, the meat paste I had just now, I'm going to make it into stuffed tofu, niang tofu, tomorrow night. <laughs>